Alright, in this video we're going to be replacing the internal fan on an Outback FX series inverter. This is a FX 2024M. This will be the same on pretty much all the Outback inverters. Uh, when you order a kit, it comes with the instructions for the FX, VFX, FXR, VFXR, and the GS Radian series. So make sure you read your instructions. Comes with a wrench and some screws, and then of course the internal fan. Now I've already took the cover off, took the AC side cover off, which is this, just two screws. Um, it's really simple to do. Now we need to take these off. plastic they screw off pretty easy um, if you have to you can take a pair of channel locks put some tape on them or something to break them loose mine just came loose next thing we're going to do is take this allen wrench with a four millimeter wrench and we're going to take these eight bolts off in between it now if you have a t-handle uh, that makes this job much easier. Hold on, I'll show you which screws. Okay, these are the Allen screws I was telling you about. They're four millimeter. There's eight of them around this. One there, one there. Of course, two on the ends. And then these on the other side right there. So I'm going to take them out real quick and then we'll show you the next step. wrench like this it makes it a lot quicker so I'm gonna set that aside okay now that we have all those screws out we need to take these Phillips head screws out there's six of them inside here we'll take them out real quick Six screws in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to take these out real quick. Now we have all eight bolts out. And then our six bolts here. So what we want to do is lift this cover off and just push down with your thumb right here if you have to keep that part down and then watch for the wire okay there's our wire make sure that stayed in good okay then right here is the connector on this side right here it is there's a little tab on the bottom just push it and pull it out there's our fan so we're going to take those four screws out one two three four and replace it with a new one Okay, 
these are the four screws I need to take out. Make sure you have the cable coming out the same position that the original is. I'm going to put these screws back in real quick and I'll show you how to put it back together. Alright, there's all four screws back in. Fans in, the wires coming out the same position. Now I have it plugged back in right here. Plug back into the board to your power. This is the old fan. I am going to take it and test it. It's 12 volts uh, and make sure that it was the fan and not something going on with the power going to the fan. So before I close this up, I'm going to go take this fan and test it. Okay. I noticed when I took the old fan out that it spun real easy. I was expecting the bearings to be locked up in this, uh, but they're not. They're nice and smooth. So I took it, like I said, it's a 12 volt. You can see 0 0.70 amp, 12 volt DC. And I hooked it up to a battery and it worked fine. Uh, but I thought, well, let me leave it hooked up for a few minutes and see what it does. Maybe it's uh, stopping after a few minutes and sure enough, uh, after about a minute and a half, two minutes, it stopped working. So I unhooked it, waited a few minutes, hooked it back up, and it ran again for about another minute and a half. So there's something going on in here. I don't know if it's uh, with the brushless motor inside or what, but after a few minutes, it's stopping. So hopefully that is what's wrong with this. I was getting an internal fan error. Uh, so that's why I decided to uh, replace this fan. But since we have the new one already hooked up, let's go ahead and get it back together and I'll hook it up and, and see if we get any errors. Um, if not, I may take this apart. Uh, this is an aluminum housing where the new one was a, a plastic. So if I could fix this one, uh, that's what I want to do and keep it as a spare. So let's go ahead and put the inverter back together. So one thing we want to be careful of is this wire. When we put this back together, I already have it plugged in. You want to make sure all your seals, there's a seal around the outside, there's a seal around both of these, and a seal around this. So we want to make sure all those seals are in good shape. And when we slide this back down, we don't pinch a wire. So, we'll make sure to get him below them capacitors. Tell that wire is going to get hooked, so take my finger, keep it off to the side. Okay. Okay, now my wire is trying to bend back here. Pull it back. like that. Now we'll put our six screws in here and our eight screws around the outside. Uh, put our plastic pieces back on here. Make sure we put them in the right direction. We should be good to go. We'll hook this thing back up and make sure it works.
it hooked back up. You can see all green lights, which is always a good thing. So it's working properly. No errors. So if you have any questions or comments about this, about repairing the internal fan, please leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.